In 2000, Tony Morgenthal bought his wife, Beth Ann Morgenthal, a race team for her birthday. Morgenthal had bought what was left of ISM Racing and Tyler Jet Motorsports. He bought the majority and of the equipment. You may remember ISM Racing for the Tabas Tabasco fiasco in that 30, number 35 car. The team's name was compromised of Beth Ann Morgenthal's initials, BAM Racing. The team, six, the team ran six races late in the 2000 Arca season. The team would use the number 49 and would put Matt Mullins behind the wheel. His best start was 10th in the fall in Charlotte. And his best finish was 13th in the summer in Pocono. Following the 2000 Arca season, the team would go ahead and they would move all the way up to the NASCAR Cup Series. Now, in 2001, the team attempted its first Cup Series race in the spring in Talladega. They put Andy Hillenberg behind the wheel of the number 49 Pontiac. Unfortunately, the team DNQ'd. In fact, they DNQ'd three more times until the team put Rich Bickle behind the wheel for Homestead. They even switched to Chevy, but Bickle DNQ'd as well. That next season, in 2002, the team had planned to run 24 races with Shauna Robinson behind the wheel. She only ended up making eight attempts, qualifying for seven events. Her best finish was 24th in the Daytona 500. Due to her struggling, the team and Robinson parted ways following the summer race in Daytona. Ron, ha Ron Hornaday Jr. attempted three races, only qualifying for one event, in the spring race in Charlotte. Derek Cope ran five races. His best finish was 34th in Homestead. And Kevin LePage ran the fall race in Dover, finishing 36th. Stuart Kirby ran the fall race in Kansas, finishing 37th. Stacy Compton ran two races. His best finish was 22nd in, in the fall race in Talladega. The following season, the team continued to grow. They signed Ken Schrader to a multi-year deal. Bam Racing had finally landed a somewhat steady sponsor in AT&T through their 1-800-CALL-ATT collect call service. The team attempted all 36 races, only qualifying for 32 of them. The, the team also scored its first ever top 10 finish, 8th in Michigan. His best start was 3rd in the spring in Bristol. Overall, they scored two top 10s, ending the 03 season 36th in final points. Now, in 2004, BAM Racing landed their biggest sponsor to date, Schwann's Home Service. Ken Schrader was back behind the wheel again of the number 49 Dodge full-time. His best start was 15th. in the spring in Dover, and his best finish was 6th in the spring in Bristol. Overall, they scored just one top 10. They had no DNFs and they had no DNQs and less DNFs, so that helped. The team improved to finish 31st in final points. The team actually fielded a second car very part-time in 04. Klaus Groff attempted three races, only qualifying for one of them at Sonoma, finishing 17th in the Sim Products number 59 Dodge. Larry Foyt also attempted two races in the number 59, D and for both, and he attempted one race in the number 70 Dodge, but also D and Q'd for that as well. For the 2005 season, Bam and Schrader and Schwann, Bam had Trader and Swans back again. His best start was 7th in the fall in Bristol, and his best finish was 8th 
in the spring in Talladega. Overall, they scored three top tens, ending the season 31st again in final point standings. At the end of the 2005 season, Ken Strader left the team to drive for the Wood Brothers slash JTG Racing. For 2006, Strader's replacement was Brett Sherman, who brought sponsorship from Serta Mattresses. He was going to run the full schedule, full, full, Ricky, full schedule for Rookie of the Year honors, though after he struggled the whole first part of the season, the team replaced him with Jimmy Spencer for a race. Sherman attempted eight races and qualified for six of them. His best finish was 21st in the Daytona 500. Mike Wallace ran Richmond, finishing 35th. Kevin LePage attempted the next 17 events, qualifying for 12 of them. His best finish was 21st in the fall in Bristol. Chris Cook did attempt both road course races, but in fact, he DNF both times. The following season, in 2007, the team planned to run full-time with Mike Bliss behind the wheel. The team was Dodge and using Everham engines. Unfortunately, Bliss DNQ'd 11 out of the first 15 attempts, and Bliss ended up resigning in the middle of the season. Chad Chapman was the team's temporary was the team's really was the team's temporary replacement driver for New Hampshire and Chicagoland. Fortunately for Chapman, the number 83 Red Bull Racing Toyota of Brian Vickers was DQ'd following post qualifying inspection, meaning Chapman would be in the field for Sunday's Cup Series race at Loudon. Chapman finished 36. Loudon. Larry Foyt attempted the summer race in Daytona, but DNQ'd. Chapman ran the following week in Chicagoland. Ken Schrader came back and finished 25th in Indy. Bliss DNQ'd the second race of the season in Pocono. Klaus Groff DNQ'd at Watkins Glen. Then veteran John Andretti finished out the 2007 season. Behind the wheel of the number 49 Dodge. He attempted 14 races and was able to qualify for 10 of them. His best start was 7th in the fall in Talladega. His best finish was 28th in the fall in Atlanta. Now, the team had plans set for John Andretti to run the full 2008 schedule, but just a mere day's Prior to the start of the 2008 Daytona testing, that not Andretti, but rather Ken Trader would be behind the wheel, hoping that he could attract some sponsorship. Trader ran the Bud, Bud Shootout and DNQ'd the first two races of the season. The team did switch from jo from Dodgers to Toyotas before the spring race in Martinsville. They also announced that Microsoft's small business division has their new primary sponsor. Microsoft pulled out and ended up going on to Michael Waltrip Racing cars. The team decided to not race the next two races. It gets expensive having to switch manufacturers and all. They planned to return originally in the spring. The spring, then the fall. Bam did not did have Chad McCombie run the number forty nine Marathon Oil Dodge. McCombie played, finished thirteenth. Robbie Gordon. Robbie Gordon Racing. Robbie Gordon. And 
and DMX Racing were in talks to combine Warner Music Nashville were set to serve as <clears throat> the team sponsor. They seem the team was supposed to have both the number seven and the number forty nine cars in Daytona, but only the number seven showed up. Warner Music Network served as Primary sponsor until the Coca Cola 600 in Charlotte, then got out of the sport. The team d didn't run another race to date. This has been NASCAR Lost Teams. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe.